All right, what's up, Pam? So I really wanna take a little bit of time to kind of go over some of the details of Bictar-V and then also rehash Genvoya, which is the medication that I took before Bictar-V for, um, I think, a couple of years and um, just do a little comparison of the two and how my experience is thus far. So, Bictar-V is one of the newest HIV medications on the market. It's great because it's a single pill, once a day medication. So the convenience factor is really great there. So, Bictar-V is comprised of three ingredients and I'm gonna do my best to pronounce them correctly right now, but we've got Bictegravir, M tricitabine and tenofovir alafenamide. Those are the three ingredients in Bictar-V. So, first impressions, it is a very small pill, very easy to take. Again, it's once a day, so that's super easy, super convenient. And um, yeah, I was when my doctor mentioned it, I was like, why not? It's a, it was an easy sell, and it, it just made sense to me. So now let's go ahead and compare Bictar-V with Genvoya. That's the bottle right there. So unlike Bictar-V, Genvoya is comprised of four drugs, and those are Elvitegravir, Cobicostat, Emtricitabine, and Tenofovir alafenamide. So it looks like the difference is they both have Emtricitabine and Tenofovir alafenamide, but Bict while Bictar-V only has the Bictegravir, hence probably where the name Bictar-V comes from, Genvoya has Copicostat and Elvitegravir. So, as my doctor explained, Bictar-V is a little bit cleaner of a medication because it only has the three drugs instead of the four. All right, so first off, I wanna say that I was on Genvoya for about a couple years or so, and I have to say that I was extremely happy, I was extremely pleased with the way that Genvoya worked out for me. I had zero noticeable side effects, and, um, Again, one pill a day, super easy. I had I had zero complaints with Genvoya. So a lot of people say, well, if you had zero complaints, if it worked perfectly for you, then why did you switch over from Genvoya to Bictarvi? Well, again, Bictarvi uh, is a little bit cleaner because of the three drug components instead of the four. Also, it's a smaller pill, which is great. And over the long course, there should be less toxicity in Bictarvi than there is in Genvoya. Okay. So let me go ahead and go over the side effects that are listed for both of these drugs on aidsinfo.nih.gov. Starting with Genvoya, um, there's a warning about lactic acidosis, which is a buildup of lactic acid in the blood, which can be a danger, liver problems, and new or worse kidney problems slash kidney failure. Then going over to Bictar-V, there they also have lactic acidosis as a problem and severe liver problems. However, to be noted is that there is no mention of kidney problems or kidney failure. So that seems to be the, the obvious benefit to having Bictar-V instead of Genvoya is that you are not risking that key symptom. Also, and I think this is very important to note, for a lot of people who are just starting medication to not freak out because there is a condition called iris that can occur when you start taking ARVs. It is not a symptom of the medication. It's simply a response of the immune system coming back to its healthy state. So iris is immune reconstitution syndrome. And basically what happens is when your immune system has been compromised by HIV, it's not able to combat illness uh, infection, bacteria that's attacking the body the way it's supposed to. Now, once you start taking ARVs and your immune system starts to become healthy again, it can start being able to attack these things. But the way you and I are going to experience this as a human being 
is feeling symptoms of being sick or other complications that are gonna make us feel like it's a symptom of the medication, but it's actually, in fact, the immune system coming back online and starting to fight these things that are in our body that it just didn't have the strength to do before. So I wanna make sure that a lot of you who are starting to take medication and freaking out about side effects, keep in mind that it could also be iris and it could be just your immune system kind of healing itself and starting to attack these things that are in your body that shouldn't be there in the first place because of the HIV. So I began taking Bictarvi on January 1st of this year and have been taking it daily since. And I have to say, since then I have experienced, you guessed it, zero side effects. Um, it's super easy, it's one pill, it's small, it's smaller than Genvoya and Genvoya was easy. Um, I take more supplements, <laughs> way more supplements than I do medication every single day. So it's literally the tiniest blip on the radar and I've had zero problems with it. You can take it with or without food, which is amazing, any time of the day. So whenever is convenient for you. And aside from that, like there's really not much else to say. It's great. Here, I'll show you. So there is the Bictarvi pill. That's what it looks like. And then here is the Genvoya. Green. Cool. Now side by side, let's check this out. You can see quite a significant difference in size. Granted, at the end of the day, it's not that impactful overall, but since we're going over the details, it's important to note that something like that, like the size of the pill being that much smaller than Genvoya. So if you have access to Bictarvi, um, Talk to your doctor about it. Um, if you have that access, then I recommend it. It's, it's a great medication. It's worked wonders for me. Um, if you don't have access to Bictarvi, but you have access to Genvoya, just as great in my book. I haven't had any problems with that. All my lab results have come back great. I never had any liver issues, never had any kidney issues, no symptoms whatsoever. All my labs are perfect, spot on. Same thing goes for Bictarvi. Um, July, I have my, my appointment with my doctor. That'll be the first time that I'm getting labs done after having taken Bictarvi for six months. So I'll go ahead and do a follow-up on Bictarvi then and then be able to tell you conclusively, at least in the six-month period, how it has been with my body. Not just symptoms, but how it's actually affected my blood panel and all that stuff. So stay tuned guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And let me know what your experiences are too, if you're taking Genvoya or Victarvi, or if there's another medication that you know about that I'm not aware about that you highly recommend. I'm sure the community would benefit from all of that information. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell so you don't miss any of these videos. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. We've got Victegravir. I'm tri We've got Bictegravir, emtricitabine, and to know. We've got Bicte. <laughs>